apologize in advance, but I'm going to say a bad word. Tibialis anterior. <clears throat> also what causes shin splints. How can we stretch that muscle? How can we strengthen that muscle? Those shin splints could, can put us out for the season. Uh, they could be extremely painful. They could run until be, they become stress fractures. Let's learn how to stretch that muscle and strengthen that muscle. Let's be proactive with our shin splints instead of reactive so we don't have to walk around in a boot for two months uh, after the season's over. Let's start with some calf raises. We're just bringing our heels down and raising them up. You could do this on your stairs. You can do this on a curb. You can do this on the bleachers. There's a number of different places you can just do your calf raises. We're going to do 10. Then we're going to do 10 on our right foot. Then we're going to do 10 on our, there we go. We're going to do 10 on our right foot. Let's start the right foot. Then we're going to do 10 on the left foot. We're going nice and slow, up and down. Work the positive, which is the up phase, and then work the negative, which is the down phase. These exercises might be monotonous, boring, tedious. They're, those are the three biggest words I know, but uh, they are worth it. Shin splints hurt, and by preventing them, uh, it can save our season and even get us into the next season. Okay, hopefully you already know these, but if not, these are heels and toes. I walked on my heel, my toes, now I'm walking on my heels. I'm gonna turn around, walk on my toes. I'm pointing them in a little bit. I'm walking on my heels. I'm pointing my toes in the second time. And then the third time when I go back, I'm pointing my toes out when I walk. I'm going to point my toes out while I'm on my heels. So I did toes forward, toes in, toes out. I did not have a TheraBand, so I found the handle to a briefcase. And now I'm wrapping that around my foot. And I'm slowly pushing forward, and then I'm resisting on the way back. Slowly push forward, slowly resist back. See the way my ankle is not shifting side to side or shaking it's just going nice and forward and resist on the way back resistance on the way forward resistance on the way back i'm just controlling with my hands you don't necessarily need a theraband you can just use your own strength you can use a rope you can use a jump rope you can use a towel you can use a t-shirt i found something in my basement you know, that was part of a, a suitcase or a briefcase now i'm doing my left foot get it on the get the wrap on the ball of your foot Push your foot out and resist on the way back. Push that foot out and resist on the way back. We're going to do 10 reps on the right. We're going to do 10 reps on the left. But we're going to do two sets of it. So after we get 10 on our left foot, we're going to go 10 on our right foot. This is a really important exercise to help prevent those shin splints. Get that wrap around the ball of your foot. Nice. Good job. Keep it up. There's a little smile from me. And let's do the left foot now. We did ten. We did twenty on our right foot total. Get that wrap on the ball of your foot. You don't need fancy equipment. You don't need fancy equipment to stay in shape or prevent injuries. Let's strengthen that tibialis anterior or anterior tibialis. Nice job. We're going to do 10. And we're done. So being that I'm thrifty, I've got a couple kids and they have noodles to swim with. I cut the noodle and my dad likes to play pool and I unscrewed his pool stick so I'm sticking my pool stick through the noodle. My children and my father will not be happy when they watch this video. But I did not have a roller so this is a, a good way to you know just make your own roller. I rolled my shins now I'm rolling my calves. Just do it until it feels good. They make other rollers 
that are a little bit harder. Oh, I found my kid's water gun. So what am I going to do with that? Well, it has made out of foam, so I'm going to use that to roll my shins also. You can put the roller on the ground and roll your shin on it that way. And here I go with the water gun. But it's made out of foam. I mean, you could buy the real stuff, that's fine. But I just looked around my home and found a couple things that I could use to roll my shins with. And just keep doing these exercises until they feel good. Now this is a foam roller, the real deal. I did buy this. Shocking to people who may know me. But this is a great way to roll your shins. I've got another video on the foam roller that is for rolling your hamstrings, your quadriceps, your IT band, your lower back and upper back. And right now I'm just showing some ways you can roll your shins with the foam roller. But I also did make another video that is incorporating core workout with rolling your shins and your calves. It's a four minute workout. It's hard, but it's beneficial for those shins. All we're doing is preventative maintenance on our shins. We're going to roll out those calves, loosen them up a little bit so our calves aren't pulling those shins or pulling those anterior tibialis off the bone, off the tibia. That's what hurts. So right now I'm just randomly rolling my shins. Now I'm rolling my calves. Next thing I'm going to do is lay on my side and roll the sides of my shins. I'll lay on my other side, roll the other side of my shins. These foam rollers are fantastic. The first time I discovered one, I sat there and did it for 30 to 40 minutes because it just really loosened up my body and made my body feel really good and, re and ready to get back on the court, get back on the field, get back on the track, whatever, whatever sport you do. I was, I was ready to do it. And that's it. Nice job. Hopefully you'll feel the benefits. Thanks for watching Matthew Hagee's video and working out with me. I'm proud of you and honored that you chose to exercise with me. If you liked Matthew Hagee's video, then please share me on Facebook, retweet Matthew Hagee in the number one, or subscribe to me on YouTube.